Today I'm going to talk about actual frequency, normalized frequency, and the DFT index. And I'm going to use the Riemann integral uh, to show the relation between the two. So between the three in the, the frequency, two in frequencies, and the DFT index. Now let's uh, first uh, start with the Fourier uh, transform. Okay, of a signal. Um, X of J omega is the Fourier transform of a signal XCT. Integral from minus infinity to plus infinity. XCT. Okay, subscript C indicates that it's a continuous time <coughs> uh, signal. E to the minus J omega T dt. Okay, the actual angular frequency is omega. Now I'm going to use the uh, Riemann integral. I'm going to use the Riemann integral uh, to uh, calculate or to approximate uh, this integral. Now, in uh, Riemann integral, my sampling period will be capital TS okay and in Riemann integral uh, we calculate um, we sum the little uh, rectangles okay and so let's say this is my uh, function in this case, the function is x c t e to the minus j omega t. It's a complex function. And uh, distance between two sampling intervals is t s. Okay, let's assume that this is n t s and this is n t s plus 1. n p s plus t s. This is my time axis. Integral is with respect to t. So, um, the area of this uh, rectangle is Ts, Ts difference times the value of the function xc and Ts e to the minus j omega uh, and Ts and Ts. Okay, e to the minus j omega and Ts. Therefore, therefore, this integral xc of j omega is approximately equal to summation n from minus infinity to plus infinity and the <coughs> area of these little uh, rectangles like that so Ts x c of n Ts e to the minus j omega Ts times n okay now we define the discrete time signal xn as xc of nts and we define uh, the normalized frequency normalized angular frequency omega as Omega capital Omega times T S. Therefore, then we have the uh, following sum
Notice that I'm not using subscript C here because this is a new this is equal to the sum. Ts times xn e to the minus j omega and therefore we can uh, we call the dtft discrete time Fourier transform x of e to the j omega as summation over n it goes from minus infinity to plus infinity xn e to the minus j omega n Okay, so we have the relation between normalized angular frequency omega and capital omega uh, expressed here, and <clears throat> this is the DTFT. Okay, the other one is uh, continuous time uh, Fourier uh, transform. So this is the uh, this is what we obtain for an arbitrary. Uh, signal for an arbitrary signal um, of course this DTFT uh, converges to XC of J omega when we let uh, TS uh, go to uh, when we let TS go to zero otherwise we have this approximate relation between discrete time Fourier transform and uh, continuous time uh, Fourier transform, which I have written up here. <coughs> okay, so uh, this is um, the Riemann sum, or DTFT is uh, can be obtained from the Riemann sum as uh, follows, and then uh, we can. Uh, we use DFT, 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 discrete Fourier transform. Now this n goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. In DFT, uh, we sample x of e to the j omega. At Omega is equal to 2 pi k over capital N. This is an endpoint DFT. Um, now, this sum goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. Uh, we cannot uh, compute an infinite sum if we start with uh, samples Xn. So, uh, we can either use windows to calculate uh, the DTFT uh, or um, we can select a sufficiently large capital N value representing X of e to the j omega. So we have an approximate relation here and the DFT XK uh, starts from 0 goes up to n minus 1 xn e to the minus j 2 pi k over capital n. In this case we uh, in order to have the, this approximate relation most of the signal energy must be in the window uh, that we used uh, which is n from 0 to n minus 1 or in terms of actual time domain data uh, it is from 0 to capital n ts n minus 1 uh, capital n minus 1 times ts where ts is our uh, sampling uh, period um, so you can also approximate the ctft uh, using xk values uh, because CTFT, uh, we have an approximate relation between CTFT and uh, DTFT. As a result, we can use DFT to approximate 
DTFT. Since this omega is a continuous uh, variable, and uh, although this DTFT is 2 pi periodic, uh, we can, even if it is 2 pi periodic, we cannot calculate x of e to the j omega for all omega values. Therefore, we have to uh, sample it and uh, we uh, calculate xk from 0, 1 all the way up to n minus 1. Okay, in MATLAB, the index starts from 1 and it goes up to capital N. So the DC value, x of 0, uh, comes with an index x1 in MATLAB. Okay, thank you very much. Stop the